My name is Yefe Dozeri. I'm privileged to work for AABGU as a philanthropic advisor. Um, actually, I saw, I met David Ben Gurion in 1966 uh, when he was 16 years old. Uh, our meeting actually happened because uh, I uh, wrote to him when I was 14 years old, uh, which led then to becoming sort of a pen pal with David Ben Gurion. Um, uh, where he was writing to me back almost, not almost, for every letter that I wrote to him. I got a handwritten response and in uh, one of my letters I invited him to come to my boarding school in Jerusalem. So one day he called the principal of the school, one day February 1966, and said, a student at your boarding school invite me to visit and the principal of the school uh, didn't believe that it's David Ben-Gurion talking to him, so he hung up the phone on him. Uh, then another call and he said, I'm David Ben-Gurion and Yefet Ozeri invited me to visit your boarding school, uh, to visit him there. Uh, and the principal, at the second call, already believed that it might be him. Uh, he said, when would you like to visit Mr. David Ben-Gurion? He said, today, if possible, this afternoon. So uh, the principal sent someone to call me and to say, you have a visitor today. He said, who is he? He said, David Ben-Gurion. For me, it's like, you know, oh, the Messiah is coming to see me. And uh, uh, that afternoon, uh, the Cadillac came by. I was standing there uh, waiting for him along with uh, other friends uh, from the school. The principal, you know, stayed, stood away because he knew that the visitor, uh, David Ben-Gurion, came to me. And, of course, it was uh, uh, an, uh, the most exciting experience that I can imagine. I had, I ha had uh, been an admirer of him uh, from my childhood. He came, visited my room. Uh, at the boarding school and then we went to the uh, boarding school's dining hall where 250 students were seated on the floor and waiting to hear him. I got the privilege of introducing him and uh, uh, also facilitating and uh, moderating the uh, discussion. Uh, David Ben-Gurion uh, didn't give us a lecture, he just talked to us for two hours. Uh, from 8 o'clock p.m. until close to 10 o'clock p.m. He was talking to us. First, he gave us his vision for the future of Israel, but then he wanted to know what we think about what will sustain Israel forever, uh, what is important for Israel's uh, further uh, development, uh, how do we feel about uh, immigration, uh, about uh, relationship with uh, Jews, um, in, in diaspora and uh, he debated uh, some students who said things that he wanted them to uh, rethink. Uh, so to your question, it was the most exciting experience that uh, one can imagine. Not only for me, by the way, for the 200 plus students that were there in the room, uh, I meet many of them because they are my colleagues, my alum, my, my classmates, many of them. And uh, when you ask them what is your overriding, the, the most important experience as a teenager, they would say when Ben-Gurion visited our school.